nanohub.org. You can follow along with this presentation using printed slides from the NanoHub. Visit www.nanohub.org and download the PDF file containing the slides for this presentation. Print them out and turn each page when you hear the following sound. Enjoy the show. So hello, I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, Rapture Toolkit uh, that we use on nanohub.org to deploy um, applications. So normally you start out with um, some great idea, right, about physics. And that's what most of you as PhD students really focus on is the physics of devices or the f physics of uh, structures or materials. And then uh, your boss decides, well, this is a really cool thing and uh, uh, we got to have outreach or you really ought to stop, put your stuff on the web or hand it to other people. And then you end up writing some input decks, right, that allows you to, to manage your input and your output, and uh, that's already a wrapper around your physics that you really cared about. And then if you really want to deploy it, you got to deal with downloads and installation instructions on how to teach people how to do that. Then you got to write documentation that allows people to use this, and uh, then you have to provide examples on how to use this, right? And, and pretty soon, you're a pretty sad face, right? Because what you really care about is the physics on, that's on the inside. And, and not so much all that stuff that's now on the outside that, that wasn't your primary focus of work. So the, what we deal with that is uh, we, we get rid of these downloads and the installation. We deploy on the NanoHub, right? So you, you, you don't have to instruct people on how to download and install, but it's actually running end-to-end -end on NanoHub. And uh, the documentation we also do in a different way. Um, for example, we uh, host uh, little flash animations that allow us to, to document how these tools work. So here's a flash animation of this PN Junction toy, toy model or PN Junction generation model. Um, it allows you to uh, select the doping profile and then you can look, uh, look at the band edge diagrams and you can just sort of change things rather easily and uh, look at different band edge diagrams, put in different dopings, run different simulations and you can teach people on how to use this tool rather easily compared to writing pages and pages of documentation about it and it's actually more powerful than uh, writing hundreds of pages. So then you can, we can uh, look at different outputs uh, like the electric field and compare them to previous runs and it's everything, it's pretty much by a click of a mouse is uh, available this way. So. So this is one way of getting around writing long documentations. And the other documentation uh, items that we do have are really our uh, papers that we generate, right? That's the, the science that documents what, what's in these tools. That's what we care about. And then the usage um, of these tools we can do through Rapture. So indeed, um, you have these uh, tutorials now, these seminars that go along with these tools, that's educational material, and that is part of the uh, documentation process. So now we really get rid of sort of this right-hand side to, to a certain degree, and we'll talk a little bit more about what's on the left-hand side. And really what Rapture allows you to do is um, to build this framework that deals with examples and input and output, and really well, the theorists can really just sort of literally just sort of nicely sort of slide in your, your physics code right into a uh, into this framework without having to worry about all these details. So this works in two ways. You can create um, a desktop applications and we have binaries of Rapture for Linux and Mac OS or you can deploy the same tool over the web. 
and it runs right in your web browser. So you can de develop locally, or you can develop on the NanoHub, and you can deploy on the NanoHub. And really, it's a Unix application. And how does it really work? So imagine you have this executable, this like old uh, dusty input deck executable um, that might be written in Fortran, or C, or MATLAB, or Python, or Perl, or Tickle, any of those languages. And you might have a, 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 the, a, an input deck, and you describe the input with um, an XML description. So each input and output is described with a little XML tag, and that automatically generates this graphical user interface, just directly from a single XML file. And when you click Run, what this does, this, this generates a new XML output or driver file that is driving this, this executable and it places values that the user might have chosen into this XML uh, input deck. And that drives the executable maybe through a translation process because you're using an old style input deck and or it can use a Rapture library directly around it and it feeds that into the simulation engine, it jump, dumps data out and it creates an, a run file that corresponds to this. So in this whole process, with generating a driver file and a run file, you have, in a sense, self-documented simulation, right? You have simulation input and simulation output in a sim single file that is described in a metadata approach. So it's not that you have to hunt around for a whole bunch of different data files in, in some directory, and you can resurrect this simulation just from an index file like this. And then you pipe this into, that gets with Rapture piped into the output and you can visualize this data. All right, so the, the key element is really that it's a complete out, uh, record of the output of your run. It's not scattered all over the place. <coughs> Excuse me. So the way we deploy this on NanoHub is that we can also run this uh, code in a virtual machine or we can ship uh, it over a grid and ship the, the driver file and the executable over the grid and generate the result and pipe the result back in, which is a pretty lightweight communication process. And uh, what we can do is really create nice and simple uh, user interfaces. So here's a very simple example, I'm going to go over how to plot a Fermi Dirac factor as a function of Fermi level and temperature. So there's a sort of a temperature gauge that Michael created um, and they, uh, you can describe uh, in your input units, like you can put in electron volts and uh, temperature in Kelvin or Celsius, it does the conversion from electron volts to uh, uh, to Joule, for example. So it's all built into the infrastructure, so you don't have to worry about that on your tool building side. You can zoom in, as we've shown before. You can adjust these knobs to compare different simulations, and all of that is built into the toolkit. So you don't have to write that for every application again and again, where you say, I want to compare results now, I want to ramp this or the other. It's built into the toolkit. But Rapture is not really just a GUI builder. It really is a, um, a methodology uh, to express scientific models. And they can be exercised through a GUI, but it's really also a metadata description and of provenance, where it really keeps track of where the data comes from, what simulation run, what version of the code was run, what, uh, uh, where the co code came from. So here's a, an example of a, uh, a record of this uh, simulation where here's the CNT bands 2.0 is the title, here's a driver, uh, here it's the revision number of the code, it was uh, originally modif uh, was modified and originally installed. So you have what you ran in the code and then you have input, some data that is an XML way of describing this and they have output like this. It's not in graphical form but in textual form. But it's all in one file, so all the inputs and all the results 
are in one complete record. All right. So if you wanted to deploy this, what would you need to learn on, on, on operating all of this? None of this, but really in a sense what you need to know is Rapture and this tool XML file uh, and this language. The rest is sort of given to you as part of the infrastructure. So let's look at how do I create this and what kind of data are supported and how do I access the values in my tool. So if you want to learn about a lot of these details, just go to www.rapture.org which uh, has all this information on it, but I'll walk you through a little bit um, where you can do this uh, and how you do this. So again, you can do this by downloading the binaries of Rapture to your local desktop, or you can begin a contribution process on NanoHub where we basically give you a Unix workstation that runs inside your browser and everything that you need for software development is installed. Rapture, compilers, debuggers, the whole nine yards. And if you close that browser and you uh, go back home and go into your My NanoHub page, that, that tool set is still available. It's up and running. So you can, uh, it's transparent uh, to different workspaces. So here is some uh, uh, examples on how to get started. What is Rapture, getting started, documentation and downloads. And that is just a the really fast overview of what Rapture is about. Okay?